small bits of information as more information is gathered. There were some reports that the shooter may have been a student. What are you hearing and your reaction? Uh, well, that, uh, I think based on what we're seeing so far, if we look historically at uh, how these uh, different types of attacks um, are carried out, this attack almost seems as though it was personal and uh, that those that, that were shot um, before the shooter took their own life, I have a feeling we're going to end up seeing this as a, more of a, a domestic or uh, some type of a spat between a few people, not... Uh, somebody who was determined to shoot up an entire school. Um, now, that's a, a predictor based on statistics that we've seen in, in shootings that have happened in schools, and this has happened before. And that's what I believe that this is probably going to uh, end up looking like. And, and I want to say one thing real quick, if I could, about the Iran bombing. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the Sunni Shia uh, factions of Islam supposedly a, a year or so ago, I believe it was, when they said that they had come together and they had united. And um, that is a very dangerous thing for those two groups to unite. So um, as uh, deadly and loss of life and the different things that happened here, um, this shows that Sunni and Shias are not united in many ways, which is actually uh, better news for the rest of the world, because if those two groups ever do merge, uh, then all the different terrorist factions would come together as one. So I think what we're seeing here is a continued uh, civil war between two different beliefs uh, in the Middle East. And, and uh, as long as that's occurring, it's difficult for them to focus solely on Israel. Gentlemen, I don't want to gloss over this school shooting, though. This just can't be. These kids just come back from, from Christmas and holiday break here and they have to see, again, yet another school shooting happen around the country. Uh, our condolences to everyone out there in Iowa where this happened here. Steve, give me your take on what has to happen. I don't care where your ideologies are, left or right. This can't be the way it is in our country for our students at school. You're certainly right. It cannot be. And I, I wonder, once again, if we're going to find out that somewhere along the line, the shooter said something, did something, and someone heard it and saw it and didn't make any sense of it and said nothing. You know, we, we think about relatives, friends. Uh, usually you find out that these shooters did uh, more or less give a hint somewhere along the line, especially on social media. But the thing we need to do, you need education. You need to uh, uh, increase mental health clinics across the country. A lot of young people are being influenced by pretty bad people on this planet. I mean, from politicians to criminals on the streets. They think that it's okay to go out and put the law into your own hands, to kill people, to mug people, to commit crimes. We got to start early. It's got to begin now in our educational system. I think that's a great point. And Jonathan, I'm going to give you the last word here, maybe more broadly, what you're observing, observing regarding crime here in the country. I know Bob's going to be talking about it a little bit later, but I'd love to hear your observations and opinion. Well, I think what we see overall is not just in the United States, but globally, social media has changed a lot where people believe that uh, they are their own heroes or they're the heroes of a cause. Narcissism is uh, tremendously uh, sweeping across the entire globe. And in this nation in particular, people do not think their way through crisis situations. When they're upset, when they have mental health issues, they don't face those things and people around them don't engage them in conversation to see what's happening. You have parents and their children engaged in so much screen time and social media and uh, narcissistic indulgence in their own lives that simple fixes of sitting and talking with people and figuring out what's going on in their lives hardly exists anymore. So people are more apt to react to their emotions than they are to sit back and think their way through situations. I think a lot of this has to do with that plus self-medicating or being medicated by doctors who just want to throw pills at people. Yeah, I know. But uh, again, we're early, obviously, in the air. Just a couple of days in, we've had a school shooting. It can't be this way. And I can't stress enough. Sending our condolences out there to Iowa for what's happened this morning. Uh, Steve Rogers, Jonathan Gilliam, gentlemen, thank you coming on for coming on in the insight into all the events happening today. Appreciate it. My pleasure. You You're welcome. It.